Well, this is a special time of year in the European footballing cycle. It's where it all begins again. The lifting of the trophy, the winners' medals. That was all back in May. A mere reminder, a wreck of the glory that was and what may be to come, perhaps, for one of these. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. So it's back bigger and better than ever before. I do hope everybody is ready for another ride on the emotional roller coaster. Bring it on, Peter. I'm looking forward to a competition that always delivers entertainment, whether through its football or indeed its supporting cast of, of emotions. Neither of these teams will want a, a trip back to the drawing board after this, so I think we can expect something quite lively. There's the whistle. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Ederson. He's got great technique, Peter, and for a goalkeeper, he's got the passing range of a top-class midfielder. I think his, his team will be looking to use him as a, a foundation from which to build both sustained spells of possession as well as quick counter-attacks. He's got a phenomenal left foot. I'm thinking the same. He will be a central feature, no doubt. Gabriel Jesus. Nicely measured pass. There's a goal! Silva. And here's Sterling. This will go again. It's another offside decision. Courtois sends that a long way. Tony Kroos. And that's clear cut. That's a free kick. De Bruyne is being told in no uncertain terms that this will be his final warning. Yeah, and he's just entered the last. Shot at goal! And it's Sterling. Gabriel Jesus. Loose. Tries to get it forward quickly. Benzema. And it's Sterling. Gabriel Jesus. Real Madrid have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. And here's Azar. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. He's got options out wide. Azar pumps it into the area. Silva. So it is still nil-nil. Rafael Varan. Oh, they've seen lots of the ball. Time to go for it a bit. A bit of creativity and adventure. Now it's Benzema. That's a throw. Across the field it goes. Promising move that good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Oh, good interception. Benzema loses his balance and loses the ball. Tony Kroos. Finds himself eased off the ball. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Modric looks to dink one in. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Uh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. And here's Azar. That's great strength on the ball. 
Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. And he has shown him a yellow card. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Great reaction! Oh, he's pulled off a fine save. Absolutely terrific, terrific reflexes. Goalkeeping at its very best. Gabriel Jesus, Sterling, Sterling! Oh, denied brilliantly! Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Just brushed off the ball there. Well, he's not played the ball, that's a foul. Mendy gets his final warning. Well, I think the referee would have told him to raid it in or, or suffer the consequences. Mares. Fernandinho gets into the right position to intercept. And it's been taken straight back. And it's Silva. Sterling. And to Bruyne! Good run, lovely take, but that is where it stops. That's a real shame, Peter, because it was beautifully worked. Took the defence out of the picture, but he'll be in no hurry to watch the replay. The referee's awarded a free kick. And it's half-time here. So now the team has broken through. It's certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. So we reached the halfway point. Manchester City ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. But if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. Huzzah! It's there! Well, what a time for the captain to step up and put his team in front again, but while it doesn't necessarily guarantee a win here, it's a wonderful early boost in this second half. The contact was crisp and clean. That was just a rocket. Well, the technique generates the power in that situation, and once power is assured, any goalkeeper's up against it. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Real Madrid take the lead. Oh, half-time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. Tony Kroos. Decent progress down the left. Modric gets a good foot in there. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. Beautifully done. Can't get the better of his opposite number. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Sterling with good energy in defence as well. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Oh, real danger here! Real Madrid have a free kick. It's Bale! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Bale certainly caught it well enough, but that was never really going to trouble the keeper. Casemiro. 
hoists it forward. Referee's given a throw. Otamendi is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Well, they seem intent on marking him out of the game. Another chance! <laughs> yeah, he's fouled him there. Mondi. And it's Sterling. Timely intervention. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Well, this isn't the time for Benzema! I really don't think you could expect anything better from the goalkeeper then. We're near heroic territory. He spotted the run and played him through. Has a hit! He scores! Now listen, the writing was on the wall. It looked like this was going to happen, and it has. Yeah, the pass was bang on, and he just had to ensure he didn't stray offside. The finish was actually bang on, too. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Real Madrid making another change here. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Manchester City surely know by now that they've put so much work into producing the equaliser that they'll battle on for a winner. You know, it's, it's all one-way traffic for them now, and they simply have to capitalise on it. Bale. And the finish! Not this time. It was a really neat move, Peter, and it had a slickness about it to make it look as if it's been well rehearsed in training. Casemiro, Rafael Varan, and it's played forward. Real Madrid go in search of their winner. Real Madrid showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. That's not going to make it. Otamendi. Going nowhere fast is about the only way I can describe this. They've just got to be busier. Mares going through, and Mares! Yes, he's done it! Late in the day, this could well be it! That really is quite fabulous, all his own doing. Mares showed real composure then. I mean, how often do you see a player do everything right until he gets into the box, only to completely kind of flip the finish? Not him. <laughs> Having turned the game on its head, now can they hold out? Well, the last moments now, Peter, are going to be very frantic. There's still time for a, a twist or two yet. Gundogan with a long pass. Modric. Almost there, and the players can feel it. Bale gets into a dangerous position.
Oh, he's found him in space. He's gone down, but the referee just tells him to get back up again. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle.